As Melbourne's population grows, more people are using our rail network. The Melbourne Rail Link will allow us to add more services, improve reliability and provide capacity for 30% more passengers in the peak hour. The project will deliver twin tunnels from Southern Cross to South Yarra, new underground stations at Fisherman's Bend and Domain, new underground platforms at Southern Cross and South Yarra to enable interchanges with other services, connections to city loop tunnels, and the Melbourne Airport Rail Link, connecting Melbourne Airport to Southern Cross Station and the Cranbourne Pakenham Line. The route will pass through Fisherman's Bend and act as a catalyst for the development of a new city office precinct. While the upgraded Southern Cross Station will improve access to tram services and establish it as a true transport hub, servicing Docklands, Fisherman's Bend, the western suburbs and regional Victoria. This project will deliver significant capacity improvements in a cost-effective way and minimise disruption to CBD streets. It will allow us to untangle the central rail network to run more trains more often and improve transport connections across Melbourne. At the moment, the greatest problem facing our rail network is constrained capacity in the inner core. In the morning peak, we have different lines all sharing the same tracks at critical points in the city. Trains coming from the north and west, Sunbury, Craigieburn and Upfield, all converge at North Melbourne and share the same track into and through the city loop. Given the limits on the number of trains that can travel through the loop, it is not possible to expand services on those lines. It also means that disruption on one line impacts the others. It's a similar story on the other side of the city, where Pakenham, Cranbourne and Frankston line trains all converge at Richmond with the additional need to move more freight to the southeast by rail. This also means that two critical entry points to the city, North Melbourne and Richmond, are overloaded with services competing for limited track space. By adding two new tracks in the inner core, the project will enable dedicated train lines, each using their own set of tracks. Melbourne's rail network will then be made up of six lines. The Sunbury and Melbourne Airport to Cranbourne Pakenham Line, the Frankston to Lilydale Belgrave Line, running through the new tunnels and connecting to the city loop tunnels, the Werribee Williamstown to Sandringham Line, the Craigieburn Upfield Loop Line, the South Morang Hurstbridge Loop Line, the Glen Waverley Direct Line. With each of these lines operating on a separate track, reliability will be improved and capacity will be increased for more train services to run more often. By increasing capacity, the project will allow for a future rail extension to Roeville and the addition of the South East Rail Link to provide for freight and regional trains. The Melbourne Rail Link will also connect the CBD to Melbourne Airport through a new, frequent and reliable rail service. Most importantly, by adding two new tracks in the core of our rail system, we will deliver more frequent and more reliable train services for all passengers. Melbourne Rail Link is a key part of the biggest ever investment in Victoria's road and rail networks. This massive infrastructure program will drive Victoria's prosperity and shape Melbourne for decades to come. Authorised by Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.